Alright. Whew. I think we got everything here. Just, just the play mats. Alright. Yes, stream is live. So let me just take a look here. Oh man, do I see folks? I don't know if I see folks. All right, so just in case I can't access, I want to see the chat. Because I can't see the chat. All right. So that's what Mania Weekends on the background. So, I don't know if it's actually here. Uh, hey guys. Shit, my point not. Okay. Got some new stuff here. Alright, I got, I got WrestleMania on in the background, no worries. Um, if you guys are just getting used to this, I'm going to bring up the chat now. So if you guys haven't heard, this is pretty much a Did I Plus opening. Uh, since I can't fit that much, we got a Transformer, my Devastator, and then we have some, uh, interesting stuff. First, this is all Transformers related stuff. So let me just get through this. Uh, I'm gonna go check the uh, the chat room just so I can see y'all faces. Um, depending on what we have. Oh my God, Alex Scott Hawk is not trash. All right, so um, this thing I have right here is a uh, oh well well there's what goes with my scratched out address and full name, but this one I got an order from. Uh, California. Now, the interesting thing is when all these uh, combiners came out, one of the biggest concerns was kind of like making sure they don't, uh, they don't get, they don't get stuff. And, uh, zero to grade. This is from Fake Grand Order. This is a outfit featuring Skullhawk. Now, I got this from. Uh, it was like a reference from the fine folks at Record Rule, and they made me some custom stuff to put my. Combiners in, aka Devastator. Oh my god. Ugh. Guess what? You got its own grade lock themed combiners. So, I do it. It's nice. I do like it. Custom. All good. So, I got seven of these combiners and another one. So, that can start us off. Hopefully, giving us good luck. A lot of stuff to go out here. Um, let's see here. So, here's what I'm gonna do. Let's start with the Devastator deck. Now, the Devastator deck is gonna be interesting because uh, I don't want to like ruin it, but <laughs> then again, I'll just uh, kind of like put this together, see what build I want to make out of it. God, I have to, I have to do a lot of stuff here. Unless this is not the right way to open a Devastator deck box. Um, this is definitely not the right way to open a Devastator deck box. Alright, well, this is all going in the trash anyways, so just... I'm not gonna, like, keep the box. That's some investor stuff that they would handle. Alright, so... So, of course, with Devastator, we do have six different Constructicons. You got five four stars and one six, uh, one five star. So this is looking hype. We're gonna put this away. Uh, let's see. Oh my God. A lot of trash I gotta be throwing out. Oh my God, she's not trash, Alex. Come on, man. All right. So, one thing I can confident in. All right, so it should be back here. Oh my god. This is not what I had in mind. This is not what I had in mind. This is not what I had in mind. Oh, shit. 
Well, that's something. All right, so we're going to make sure we do this. Let me try this right. This is what I get for not, uh, for not having this thing prepped up. So, oh, Jesus. All right. So since we're back online, we're going to first, we're going to sleeve these up. I think this is the right way to do it. Unless it's here instead. It's awkward because I'm just trying to find the opening. Ah, yes, here we go. Okay, so. Just, hmm. I'll just put Mix Master in here. Make sure Mix Master is safe. Oh. Of course, I put it in the wrong way. All right. This is. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Okay. You gotta look at the darn things, you know? All right, that's better. You know, just making it. Okay. A nice one. Put the hooks. Okay, let's get more. The bone crusher. You're just going through. Okay, and then we have scavenger. I'll save Scrapper for last. Uh, we got Long Haul. Oh my god. If you guys ever have any questions about Transformers or, or YouTube in particular, feel free to comment down below. I'm more than happy to answer them. Right now I'm just happy that I can finally get to sleeving up this Devastator deck. I've been reading ever since lunch, so... Nice to have a break just to get some cards out of the way and get some uh, momentum going. So, we got ourselves some nice... Devastating maneuvers. And then we got ourselves a full on Devastator, which looks pretty hype if you don't mind me asking. So, uh, Devastating in particular, now let's take a look at the cards themselves. I know there's a way to open this. Maybe not so much. Uh, let's see. Yeah, throw this out. Okay. And so, so in this deck, let's see. We got Constructicon Enigma. All right. <laughs> Builder's tool. This is. I would keep this just because to build the towers on. Heavy landing, it's a blue pip, but I do like this a lot, so we can reclaim. That's actually pretty cool. I like reclaim just to like re recycle my upgrades, so reclaim is good and plus it's blue. Work over time, this is probably the big money one, just because like since for the constructor cons themselves, since they like to discard a lot, I would just go ahead and just like build my hand up to four. So it is of nice touch, and it's white. Construct a con thing right here. Blast shield. Okay, after this upgraded character, up to the upgraded character defense, scrap this card. I might take this one out. I don't think blast shield would, would serve me any use. You got the force field, which, okay, is understandable. You want to take sure you take as little damage as possible. Grenade launcher. Uh, I'm not I'm not a big fan of just like the uh, scrap four and everything. Ramming speed is the one that I probably will keep, which is, you know, understandable. Scrapper's gauntlets. Uh... Can draw a card. I think what I'm trying to do is do a heavy defensive deck. So I'm taking out all the oranges. 
pep talks all right it's probably going to be a bit of a issue for me primary rangers a no rapid conversion that's a yes you always want that and then your fearsome tower counter so i'm trying to understand what i can do to make this deck better um first i'm trying to see if i can focus on the pips so the pips being these uh, icons in the top right corner uh you know these i was interested in pep talk i'm not sure if that's something that would keep in it is blue though so it is a considerable ramming speed this is probably an orange that i have to use and, and build this tool is something that i have to use so we have that and then rapid conversion here uh you know i'm gonna be right back i'm gonna get my stuff because right now we're gonna do some deck building Uh, let's see here. All right, so let me just get through this. So if you guys haven't uh, seen a prior did I post video, I did have I did have these old cards from the uh, first opening that I did. I was lucky enough to get a uh, nice nice amount of um, let's say I got like a nice amount of uh, character cards and and other ones from here. So for now, let's see what we can do to upgrade this deck further. So right now we got the we got the blues. Pep talk is nice. Have, all this is nice. Rapid conversion that should be a keep. And then ramming speed these. These are probably gonna be my only ones here. So the cards that I've taken out, I'll just get through this. I've taken out a lot of like three. Hold on, let me just see if I can try and get this uh, get this here. So Three, six, nine, twelve, fourteen. I took out fourteen cards in this deck. So I was thinking, what can I do in order to make this thing better? So I can probably do the following. I'm gonna add some heavy blue pips here. Now blue pips I would use just to get more um to get more how do I say more defense here. Because I know that I'm going to need defense to get better. So let's uh Combat training, no shock absorbers, no. Leap in the battle. That's always another. That's always a good card to put in. All right. So scoundrel blaster. I find it interesting because having Pierce on characters is always nice. So I'll put that off to the side for now. Evasive maneuvers, no. Stunticon, no. Tech research, rest and relaxation. Uh, not so much. Flamethrower, reinforced plating, rally the city. This is for my Metroplex deck. Um, let's see, handheld blaster. I'll probably actually put in the double double uh, blue pips here. So scrap gun, Omega's primary laser. Brainstorm is an interesting one. I'm not sure if I was gonna do that yet, but right now I think I should be looking at my uh, my thing. Inspiring leadership because at least I can get the discard cards that I don't find useful. More having more discard outlets is is uh, nice. So I might have the play set of uh, uh, Inspiring Leadership and Leap into Battle. So Crushing Size is gonna be an interesting one. Crushing Size, because I, I can just bop um, an, an, an enemy utility, but I'm not sure how good utilities are. Uh, let's see, Scramping on a Zap, Arm at 20, ready for action. All right, there goes my play set of uh, Inspiring Leadership. Uh, data pad is an interesting one because I'm not really looking to stack my deck. I'm looking to just uh, do better. All right, there's another handheld blaster for consideration. Uh, let's see. I know there's some other things I can include here as well. Oh my god, I am so out of it right now. Okay, so. Serious graphic elements. Because I think I'm going to be running heavy blue. For my uh, D Devastator deck, Heavy Blue being an amazing one. Now, melee characters, as much as this would be nice, I'm not sure how the bold 
Just checking real quick. He is a melee character, so maybe for the end game I can put him off to the side. Ready for action, repair bay. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to find. I could probably put away all the power swords, just because the ramming speed, having that is always a good option, even though that is orange. Uh, already have enough of you. Already have enough of you. Handheld blaster. All right, I think that's all my uh, handheld blaster, so you can keep it like that. So, um, trying to think of what else would be good in this build is a bit of up for debate because since this is a six wide deck and not many, uh, not many decks and have that. So if we put it all blue, so fortunately I'm trying to find more leaps in the battle, but I'm not sure if I can find that right now. This is all uncommons, I think. Yeah, I cannot find... I think these are all my uncommons, but let me check. Put the power sword in there. Oof. Iron Tower Craft, only some of these guys are ranged. That would have been amazing. Alright, so let me just double check this real quick. So if you guys have any questions, of course feel free. I am here for you guys. Because I need a break for some studies for the day. Uh, let's see here. Why did I find that leap? This is all my uncommon stuff. Okay, now I get into comments. Leap in the battle, leap in the battle. Hmm. I want to have at least something ready for the... Uh, <laughs> for... There we go, leap in the battle. Alright, so... I think what I have here is that I can do the following. One, so I have this, Rammy Speed, yeah, we're gonna need all that. The Enigma goes on top, and then Power Sword since everybody's melee. Handheld Blaster, Spine Leadership, Leap in the Battle, and Scoundrels Monster on top of the Enigmas. So, Count this up before. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. 40 card deck for Devastator. So this is my modified one. I hope this would work out well. I'm going to see how Devastator will serve me in the next coming years. We're going to put the tower counter on top. And put all these other things to the side. Because now we move on to part two of our thing. And wait, what part two are you talking about, the Alphonsus? Well, let me tell you, kids. Because we got ourselves another box opening. Yeah, that's right. I got another set one with my gift card money. So uh, we're going to go ahead and open this up on top of Devastator as a catalyst. On top of Skahawk to hopefully cheer me on as we get through this immediately. All right. So, as I boy, as I bash my camera out. All right. So last last time I got a box, I pulled the Nemesis Prime, which arguably was the most, the best super SRT in set one. Can I can I strike twice? That that's that's my question to you. Can I strike twice? Or even pull one of the other rares like Optimus Battlefield Legend. And uh, we're going to go ahead and see how we do here. So we're going to start with the left side, and then we'll go make our way to the right. Whew. wonder how this is going to go. I'm going to see if I can try and angle this camera a little bit higher to get to see more of the action here. Oh, God. Yeah, my, 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 I don't, it's not really so much of a tripod as it's just like a, like a bendy camera. So I do apologize if any of you feel dizzy about this right now, but we're doing this in the name of just the stream and going live. Okay, so let's, <laughs> hopefully that, that did it a little bit better. Okay, we'll just put this off to the side. Make sure we see Scott Hotz's face to somewhat of a degree. Okay, now let's get going. All right, so open up the first booster pack. 
been so long that I forgot that I don't open booster packs anymore. Okay. So, we got Snarl as our uh, uncommon. So, put that there. And I think I'm going to follow the, the format that the guys have been doing. So, I'll put the battle cards off to the side. And then I will, uh, after opening up all the characters, I will then move on to uh, the, the battle cards themselves. I think that's a nice format because then everybody gets to go through it. It's not feeling like it's taking forever, so you have a format as to how to approach all of this shenanigans. And then, in the meantime, I should definitely have another uh, trash bag here. Put this aside, so... Before I reveal the next character... I did have a trash bag on standby, just not sure how long it... How much it was. Alright, so next... We got Starscream. It's like common. It's plain. He's got more support, so that's nice. My index cards for law school will go here. <laughs> that's the nice thing too. They give me like these index cards that I can write on. And it comes with a box, so I'm kinda like buying the more expensive premium cards. <laughs> okay. Get it in there. Alright, and then we got Dinobot Slug. A common, but that is A-OK. -okay. Unless I could probably put the uncommons here. Uh, uncommons, commons. We'll put them on their bot side to make it shiny. I'm going through it. Working through it. And, oh, shoot. Only everything was easy to open like that. We got Prowl. Proud uncommon, so that's nice. Looking at those improvised shields a bit more often. Okay. Let's hope we get some rares out of the way. Barrage. Got an Insecticon. Common. That's nice. And next card's there, battle cards here. Just opening this like completely other way. Just don't want to rip the character card. Optimus Prime, Freedom Fighter. All right, so it's a common, but it's not. It's not the Battlefield Legend, although it would be nice to pull him. Uh, I'm not sure how much the Bumblebee cards and other things are worth, but it's happened. We got Chop Shot, another Insecticon. These are uncommon. So far, uh, no rares yet. But then again, we still got the battle cards to go through because you got values in the character cards, and then you also have value in the uh, value cards in the character cards, value cards in the battle cards. So it is all around a great, great time to be alive. So to a set three on the horizon. Oh boy, we are in there. Autobot Hound. All right, so that's what common. All right, and then we got. Flame War. All right, each of your characters have tough one, which is nice. That's that's really really nice. That's something people don't really see as often. Because when you give people tough, you give them those checks, and of course there are some some cards that can turn off tough and bold, which is scary. We got Kickback. That's our uncommon. Do I go plus or minus? I hope I go plus. Chromia. Chromia is our first rare. All right, nice. So we got a motorcycle specialist. So we're going to put this off here. Move our battle cards a little bit over. So Chromia is a pretty good card. Just because like when this, when this attacks and you flip at least two whites, you get two cards. It gives some major incentive. Plus, you know, if people want a biker gang deck, maybe in set three, we'll see it. All right, we got Starscream, uh, Starscream Air Commanders. This is our uncommon. We got Bumblebee, Courageous Scout. So we got the common for him, which is always good. Bumblebee as a Courageous Scout having a Bumblebee deck. Super nice. All right, so we're gonna go ahead, collect here. 
Megatron Deceptive Leader. Tanks are probably going to be, hopefully, a good standout once we get to the next part of set 3. Because tanks have the support. They can have the support, I mean, they can. Like, what am I saying? <laughs> Wheeljack. Alright, so that is our uncommons. And that is the end of, a. Uh, <laughs> That's the end of uh, the first side. So right now, not looking too good. We only got one rare out of it so far. But then again, so much that we have here. Autobot Mirage. That's nice. That's uncommon. Let's see. Just some accountability. Dinobot Swoop as our common here. Okay. Okay, let's try, let's try hard. Come on, can we get an Optimus Battlefield Legend or something? <gasps> you gotta be kidding me. I did it again. I I did it again. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Two for two. Two for two. I'm gonna put you off here to the side. That's hella nice. I I I rolled the dice and I got I got another prime. So not bad, dude. Not bad. Hey, Autobot Jazz. I can probably use that for my uh for my deck. Let's see, cause I know the cars deck has Bumblebee, but I also do like this as well. Cause I feel like Jazz maybe have some more use than uh than Bumblebee. But we'll just have to figure it out for ourselves. Alright. Oh, right now the Cruiserweight Championship's up on the line right now. Man. Yeah, have a hellacious battle. I swear to God, if Tony Nice actually wins this Cruiserweight Championship out, I'm gonna I'm gonna be pretty insanely crazy right now. All right, we got Dinobot Sludge as our uncommon. All right. Man, we got Bombshell, a common. Man, it looks like we only had one rare in this set, but then again, Nemesis Prime probably pays for the whole box. Just because Turbo Prime is a, it can be a thing. It can be a hell of a thing. Bumblebee, another courageous scout. I am in awe that Nemesis Prime has paid for my box yet again. Okay, we got Ransack. That's our uncommon. I want a lot of dupes here. That's strange. We get a dupe, Nemesis Prime. I don't know. That's that would actually be pretty funny. All right, so let's see what we got here. Sergeant Cup. Oh, this hilarity card. It's only a matter of time before a cup comes to my uh, to my part of the town. Yo, the premier athlete, Tony Nice. There was a major martial arts up in here. Oh, what the hell? Oh my god. Double prime? Well then. I thought my first box was alright, and now I get this. Man. Ordering boxes from Amazon is hella interesting. Because that's... That's not what I had in mind, you know? That's, uh... That's pretty legit. Who else would, uh... Have two character cards pay for more than the box you got itself. We're making some moolah. Uh, well, I I would like to use them in decks, but then again, like money is money, so what can you say? Uh, let's see, we got down about another swoop. That's like the two rares are already amazing. And now, with the blessing of the SRT, we have ourselves uh, 
We got ourselves a pretty plus box, so I'm happy. Thundercracker, all right. That's so sad, we only got two rares, but those two rares are just amazing. And our last character card is Ramjet. Okay. So unfortunately, it's only a two rare box, but we just happened to pull the two most interesting leaders to come out of here. So this was good, a good thing. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna put this aside. The uncommons and the commons. And then we get to opening the stack here as our rares just watch on and glee. Oh, there goes the uh, Murphy's Law. All right, so we're going for it. Crushing size, incoming transmission leap. Maximum system reboot. All right, that's an interesting one. I'm gonna put rares, uncommons, and commons. I really hope they don't put print like SRT battle cards. You're just gonna make it harder. Unless the community's ready for it and the community's bored of the current format of like rarity of battle cards in here. My plane had the West of Force Field Brainstorm. No ray of Star Scream. Not not bad. Not bad. It's it's all good. Oh my god, Tony Nice! Tony Nice! Tony Nice! Oh my god, Tony Nice won. Wow. And new WWE Cruiserweight Champion, Tony Nice. Wow, I got it. That's a, that's a big that's a big congratulations. Murphy had it for a while, ever since last year, but that's totally fine. Tony Nice is a freaking god. Tony Nice are freaking gods. Tony, Tony. Oh my god. Boom. German suplex into the turnbuckle. And a knee. It's gonna end Murphy's career. <laughs> Not Murphy's career, Murphy's uh true reign as shock champions. Ooh, shock absorbers, that's nice. Alright, so we're gonna put uncommons. We gotta try and find a nice pile here. You know, the funny part is, I, I got this box like a few months ago. I mean, not a few months ago, but it was like a few weeks ago. And the surprising part is, is that I never got the, uh, I never got a chance to open it. And then I realized, hey, I'm getting some other stuff too in the mail. Might as well do a stream opening of this. Fusion Cannon and Megatron. I got a feeling that these, uh, these character specific cards, uh, these are going to be fetching for a pretty penny after set three. But right now with the way Transformers is going with the momentum, as long as it can survive set five, it should be fine. The bigger they are. All right, so one of your characters get plus two until the end of turn. Attack an enemy gets pierced four. Okay, that's, that's totally fine. I think the reason why people pick up the bigger they are is because it's the bigger they are. <laughs> They get an automatic four damage in there, and more if they don't even get more, and and more if they don't get any blue pips. Which is why I would like to just keep that damage to no more than four. All right, I gotta send this to the guys. I gotta celebrate. This is nice. Okay, combat training, not the best one, but uh, somewhat useful here. Let me see if I can, I can better manage this. Let's Chromia off to the side. That's not what this one. Okay. Put your uncommons here. I'm gonna do some, some light house cleaning, folks. We're gonna make sure we get through all this. Okay. Medic, primary force field. 
The static laser of Ironhide. All right, so we got more of this stuff. Improvise improvised seal new designs of Africa. Hunker down. These tanks, they're in they're gonna be in demand soon. I hope that once uh Wizards figures out once Wizards figure out what the hell's going on in terms of the OP scene and delivering more promises on that, it's gonna be great. Uh one shall stand, one shall fall. I think that's an interesting one, although what turns me off is that there's no pips. Without any pips, it's not going to be too much use of it. Unless somebody makes like a pipless deck. In which that, you get what you get, but there is reason behind that. There's a team of tactics that I need, so that's always nice. Team of tactics is all you need. And now I'm going to have so much freaking bulk that I'm not going to even see it. Uh, piercing Blaster. Heroism. Alright, Heroism. Is pretty damn good. Alright. We're leaping in the battle, but what are we leaping in the battle with? That's my question. And then swap parts. Alright, that's, that's a okay with me. Swapping parts, making people happy. It's all it's all gonna go down well. I really hope that this is a beginning of a new thermal weaponry. This is what I'm looking for. Thermal weaponry for um, my Devastator deck. For each one. So the pierce numbers add together so I get to I get to increase the amount that I can do. Energon Axe, hey. I remember this axe. This axe was the livelihood. Not just the livelihood, the amazing. The amazing plus two. One shall stand and one shall fall. All right, I think that's our first dupe. Okay, another shark absorbers. All right, we're gonna keep on pulling dupes, guys. We keep on pulling dupes, but we still need more. We still need some more. Hunker down. What? We are, we are getting all the dupes now. This is this is absolutely bonkers. This is uh, it's pretty bonkers, guys. This is pretty pretty bonkers. Hey, peace to tyranny. There's our first double orange pip. Double orange pit, double double orange pit. We get it through a double double orange pit, double double orange pit, pit. Sorry, I'm just like going crazy right now. It's uh, right now I'm just going through securities regulation and stuff. Another team up tactics. All right, so at least I'm good on my uh my my uh clip jumper deck. All I gotta do is just find freaking tournaments that adhere to my schedule, but it's hard because I'm only good on the one offs. Another bow. Another bow is always nice. Is there any double blue pip besides the handheld blaster? Or am I just missing something here? Salvage for parts? Alright. I think salvaging the parts would be good just to have that at out. Alright, spine leadership design, supercharge. Security checkpoint. Alright. This is the one that I need. <laughs> Security checkpoint is the beast. The beast that I need. More heroisms, okay. I mean, a bit uneasy because I would like to see a double security checkpoint. If I can put that in, uh, put that in Metroplex or something. Static laser of Ironhide, all right. Right now, it's not looking too good for me, guys. I pulled at least some of the, some of the stuff, but not not all the stuff. Another no ray of star scream. All right. Well, I guess if anyone's building the star scream deck, then maybe I can find something. But right now, I'm just trying to get my security checkpoints in. Oh, matrix of leadership. All right, that's always good. Matrix of leadership always coming in with the clutch. Whenever you need more attack or defense, matrix got you covered. All right, laser bombing run. Oh, nice. Okay, so with the planes in particular, that's going to be the insane part. Everyone's going to be losing their minds over this. Alright, so hopefully end off with a nice one. Right, leadership, reinforced plating, and data bank. Alright, so it looks like... Just to put this aside. 
I need to get security checkpoints. That's one. I need five, which is sad. The commons are all right. Uh, let's off to the side. So let's see the rares. So, pull a lot of start. Right now, I'm just gonna make sure I just get them all out. Thermal weaponry, thermal, thermal, thermal weaponry. Man, it sucks that I only get one of the uh, one of the stuff. I'm gonna just organize my things right here. Man, this is like mega rip. I don't have much to organize. No way to start screen. Heroism, oh jeez, one security checkpoint, which, you know, that's that's like sad days, but still, it's fine. Um, we got the bow, so, well, it's good. Team up tactics, that's always good. Peace through tyranny, that's our one-off. Hunker down, uh, shock absorbance, that's our second. One shall stand, one shall fall. Energon axe, I think that's the one-off. Swap parts is there. Heroism again. Team attack is number two. Once they'll stand, once they'll fall. Another hunker down. Where's another hunker down? There you go. And a random combat training. Okay. So, we salvage this all out. Security checkpoint, that's one. Peace with Danny and that, that's two. Bigger they are in thermal weaponry. Team of tactics with cars. And then the rest, uh, the Energon Axe might be something good. Heroism, Hunker Down, Bombing Run, Cybertronian Bow. Oh, I got two bows. Okay, cool. And then once I stand, once I fall, salvage parts, Data Bank, System Reboot, Talk Parts. Actually, I didn't get anything for Bumblebee unless Bumblebee doesn't have it. I didn't get, uh, no, not Bumblebee, uh, Optimus Prime. So. All in all, this is a pretty plus box. I still can't believe it. Like, I was very nice. Happy day, though. All right, so. I think that concludes the transformer side of it. Now, in regards to where am I going to put the security checkpoint, this is going to be the awkward part. So, this, this has all the axes here. I'm going to put, wait, where's security checkpoint? Oh, there it is. These rares, I'm probably going to be trading selling. I'm going to put this one away too. Guys, this. More rares here. Okay. So sorry, guys. I'm just doing some, doing some much needed. Must need training. Must need not training, but cleaning. Cleaning. Must need cleaning. I'm like all over the place here. Okay, since I can't put two piles here, so let me just put all this here. Okay. So. Now that I know what's going on here, we can see we can move on to something else entirely. Uh, when I say moves on to something else entirely, as in we're going to a different card game. And if you guys don't know me, uh, I'm involved in a lot of different card games just because I do like the hobby. Uh, you know, this is how this led to the formation of the YouTube channel. This had like a whole bunch of memories that I do love and care about. So, I think what I do want to do now is go to the Ami Ami box that I teased you guys earlier. 
So let's just, uh, we'll get to it shortly. So let me just do this. Put that in, put that in. out they get the stuff so you just get my uh handy dandy cutting mm -hmm. tools yeah, don't pierce my skin please god not Kyrie no please no my Kyrie, not my pirate princess, please. But what is Santo and Toad Oscar, please? Okay, so in this Amiyami box. Oh I always like it when Amiyami just sends you this type of stuff. It looks nice. I wanna keep this. But what's in the box, you say? Well, what's in the box is... Oh my goodness! Yeah, that's right. That's right. Goblin Slayer. That's right. I got two trial decks, because I don't need to purchase more than that. Two decks of this one. So, we'll put this aside. And so we're gonna test our luck here too. I got, I got sleeves, I got stuff for this. All right, let's start at the left and then go to the right. So. Not even once. Not even once. Hey, Cosmic Hero Boy, what's up? Not much. We're just doing a Did I Plus stream chat opening. Right now, I'm going through Vice Wars right now, doing Goblin Slayer. So, I'm going to test my luck, see if we can pull some foils. Oof, okay. So, just to get things started. We got our SR, which is the uh, the Priestess. SR. Oh, we get the SR, the Goblin, uh, Goblin guy, too, so that's nice. Got some TD stuff. TD stuff's interesting. This one's like the climax combo, which I wasn't really too sure of. It's nice though. It is nice. So we got two. We got yep. Right, level three. The event. The event's always key. That's why I bought two. And then we have. I think this is a uh, more bonuses. More bonuses. Backups. Uh, priestess TD. <laughs> and then we have our climax. All right, so we have this, and then we have our guild girl to this. Okay, so we didn't we didn't get any foils here, but at least I can see what's what do I need in particular. All right, and then we're just gonna open up the other one. Thankfully, it's not much. Ooh. We just here. We missed out on the transformers. Gonna go through this again. Got your base. At least on the bright side, the key thing that you want is like the double events. There's running the place of events is helpful. And then I don't think we got anything here either. Nah, no, we don't. Alrighty, well on the bright side we at least got a. Uh, we got our priestess. We got stuff. So let's see what we can make out of this. Um, I think. If memory serves me correctly, we're gonna do this then. So, I think it might have been resealed. They're not even resealed, I think it just took it out. 
That's why I feel bad. Whenever I buy just a low-end trial decks, you don't, you, you're not going to get much of the SRs out of it, or even more than that, because it's it's kind of close to impossible in a way, but uh, what can you do? On the bright side, we should get the uh, more stuff going. Okay, so uh, if you guys haven't heard, this is uh, the end of the stream. Hope you guys enjoyed yourself. Um, I'm going to put together a Goblin Slayer deck, a trial deck, and see how I make out of it. Uh, if, you, if this is, uh, sorry if this is late, but we're going to go ahead and get some, uh, get some nice memories here. Alrighty, so uh, that's it for me. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the YouTube channel. I know that we're still going to be working hard creating more content for you, so please feel free to, uh, you know, check in, check out. And that's it, guys. Team Gradelock, signing out.